if you want to know the real reason why some of your irons go exactly the same distance, your five iron goes as far as your seven iron, your four iron goes as far as your six iron, and your six iron goes as far as your nine iron, why on earth does that happen? I've got two great reasons as to why that will happen. Before we start, if you want to book a lesson with me, register your interest now on the website link down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well, please. Hugely appreciate it. On today's really important tip. Now, this is a bugbearer to loads of golfers out there. Why on earth does your seven iron go as far as your four iron? And why on earth does your six iron go as far as your nine iron? It's a baffler because on paper, as I say, your six iron should go a lot further than your nine iron. Roughly 30 yards, let's say. Because this should ideally, again, generally speaking, 10 yards between each golf club. But some of you, your five iron, as I say, goes as far as your seven iron. Why is that? Well, usually with the long irons, they tend to go quite low. So naturally, without even realizing it, what we do in our golf swing is trying to help and scoop that ball up in the air. But the problem in doing that is we're adding a ton of loft to that golf club. And the problem is, if we're increasing that loft of a four iron to, let's say, a seven iron loft, the golf ball is going to go exactly that same sort of distance. It's going to go seven iron distance. It's not going to read the bottom of the golf club and say, actually, you're hitting a four iron, so I'm going to go four iron distance. It's going to go seven iron distance because you're imparting a lot of loft on that golf club. So it's all about the loft. It's all about loft control to make sure that ball is going just as far as you, as, as you can do, as it should do. For, for whatever club you've got in your hands. And the way we need to do that and make sure there's a there's 10 yard, 12 yard increments between each club is this. We need to make sure the handle is leading the way through the ball. Because if the club head overtakes that handle, you'll see there's a ton of loft on that golf club. So we need to make sure the handle keeps moving to introduce the true loft, if not slightly less loft, to that golf club. And therefore the ball can go at the trajectory it needs to for the club in your hands. Because if we scoop, we're gonna struggle. We're not only gonna struggle with the strike, we're also gonna, even if we do hit it well, we're gonna pop that ball up in the air and it's just not gonna go quite as far. So first reason, massive, massive reason, is loft control. Keep that handle moving through to make sure the loft is where it should be. Second reason, quite simply, is strike. If you're gonna hit it out the toe with a four iron compared to a seven iron, Again, it's going to go relatively the same sort of distance. So you need to make sure that you are hitting that middle of that golf club. It sounds very simple. And the problem is, with all of you, it's going to be very variation in, in reasons for not quite hitting the middle. But if we think about it, that contact on that golf ball is so, so important to get that distance. When we hit it out the middle, it just flies off the golf club and therefore flies through the air with the greatest of ease. So make sure, just be aware of where your ball is striking, because that could be another big reason as to why that golf ball just isn't going quite as far, or more importantly, why all your golf clubs are going the same distance. So two things there, we need to make sure, one, we're hitting the middle of the golf club, two, we need to make sure we're introducing the true loft on that golf club at that golf ball. Keep the handle moving through to make sure we introduce the right amount of loft and your golf clubs will go the distance they so deserve.